All hands go to work from that box 749, 102-468 Avenue, West 3, West 3, 9, 3, fires on the first floor. 29, we have a class day at uh, 69 West 3, 8th Street. We have a, a unit going there to check it out. And I said bye. We have a class day alarm going on at 69 West 3, 8th Street or around the block from you guys. We have the ladder 7 going to investigate. Division person. Eighty-four seven four nine. Seven four eighty-four one six four four hours. Manhattan. Citizen first. Three box zero seven four nine address one zero four six Avenue. Reaching all hands for fire on the first floor of the commercial of a five-story twenty by eighty-five on fire proof. Multiple dwellings. My thoughts are as follows. One is the street, two is the cemetery attached, three is a 20 story fireproof MD, four is a cemetery attached. Currently, there are two lines stressed, one in operation. Manhattan. Manhattan, 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 all right, guys, we got a 1075 all hands fire in a mixed occupancy. I think there's a fire on the first floor uh, on 38th Street and 6th Avenue. They have two lines stretched, two lines in operation. They got water on the fire. Let me get over there. Let me go around the other side. I think they're going to do a second alarm on this. I'm not sure. If they haven't, they should. Are we full of command? It's fine. Go ahead, Phil. What's up? Cross the line off the of 5-4. And now the wind's going off, so we're out. Pass it off the 5-4. Alright, 10-4. Come out. Make sure you guys are accounted for. Thank you. The chief is down there. He's checking it out. It looks like they've knocked down the main body of fire, but they got still smoke coming. Don't know if it's residual or whatever. Yeah. So it looks like they got a handle on it, so I don't think they're going to do a second alarm. Command for ladder two. Ladder two. Command for 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 ladder
Manhattan, I missed it, so, but I think it was about the uh, searches. <laughs> and about the hose line, three lines stretch to an operation inside the building. You see them right there in front of you, and this is the third line. We still have a decent smoke condition, but I don't know if it's residual or maybe fire in the walls or something. These old buildings, you know how that goes. The rescue standing by over there. back over here it's a little hectic over there I don't want to be in the way smoke is lifting and they're opening up So I came around this side and uh, some of the other stores uh, have light hazes of smoking them. 
uh, some of the restaurants. Uh, there's no other angle not to get in through here because the entrance is over there. Uh, I'm gonna keep poking around, but just wanna show you the haze inside these stores. And these fires have to be knocked down and, and handled as quick as possible before they spread into any other areas of these old buildings. Otherwise they become an inferno. See how old these buildings are? <clears throat> Let me poke around some more. Uh, I came over here to get a, a better look from the uh, from a distance. Nothing showing from the uh, pushing from the roof. But they got fire on the shaft. All right, how are you? And you got your EMS. Come on out. Alright, if you guys are, if you guys drive a large car, go up and come on. Alright, I'm not sure I heard what he said, but let's see. Just like I said 20 minutes ago, second alarm, uh, they're transmitting. I don't know if they found pockets of fire, but they're still opening up in there. They're still spraying with the two lines. Third line is standing fast. And you'll have second alarm companies coming in to relieve and help out. I'm gonna go uh, poke around some more. Uh, conditions seem the same to me. They're moving the line around. And like I said before, I had to get out of over there. There's too much action going on over there. I don't wanna be in the way nowhere. Also, uh, I'm gonna go down the street and get a couple of the uh, second alarm units that are coming in. Uh, being that there's not these are not from the second alarm. These are new units that were coming in anyway. That was an extra sucker. Uh, this guy with decent smoke still pushing over there. All right, I'm gonna go down the street. While I wait for some of the units to come in, I where the rack at? There's the rack at. 3738 on Sixth Avenue. They closed most of Sixth Avenue from 34th Street. I don't know how many units are gonna be coming this way, but something should be coming. There the rack at. All right, some of the second alarm units are coming.
Traffic is terrible. I'm helping there, opening up. If it's not, and you, need, you need to go further up high, let me know and I'll send another truck in, right? 975, like the second one. If 
All right, I got some of the units coming in. I'm gonna go over there. I don't know if I'm gonna put them in the beginning of the video or at the end, but I'm going back to the scene. They continue to open up. Uh, conditions have improved. <clears throat> they found a couple of small pockets of fire, but nothing major. So I'll be there in about two minutes or so. Nine four five. All right. We have been relieved at the uh, 1075 box. You want to return to the county United Quarters or back to Queens? Okay. We're going to go back to Queens. four five. Okay, let me give you a quick update. The chief wants everybody to go to rehab and get checked in, checked out. Uh, I think they do oxygen readings and such. Uh, the MERV responding, that's where that takes place. They go in, they get checked out, and then uh, they get released. Let me get over. Okay, so now I'm over here by the... Uh, staging area for EMS. They have their own staging area. They keep their units a certain distance. <clears throat> you saw the ambulances coming in. Uh, and so, uh, like I said, the chief wants everybody to report probably to the MER 6 here to get their readings. It looks like they're filing in right now. Remember, everybody's got to get checked out. I'm not going to get too close to them over there. They're in the process of doing that. And uh, I'm waiting for the next report and see what they say. Well, we haven't seen doors, but uh, we'll take EMS down there. We're not known. Thank you, Rosie. They're checking out the rack too. The rack's getting good use. Very humid and soupy out here. The rescue squad are still here, so until they release them, then there's not too much. Uh, to report in terms of it being under control. I don't even know if it probably will hold yet. Alright, so we're going to take it up there, correct? We're not going to need to uh, put an instant three-quarter on it then? Alright, alright, alright. We got no one. guys, alright, alright. They have the two-phase working, and it seems like it's working. Uh, we had like 400 plus million earlier, and it looks like we're down about 200 now, so it's, it's working slow, but it's working pretty well. Alright, so it looks like they're doing... Uh, 
checking for CO and that kind of stuff. Uh, they're putting one of the lines back up, so that's also indicative that it's very close to being probably will okay, hold or not under control. Alright, they're shutting down. That's the third line they're putting back up. And uh, they're shutting down one of the, uh, the other two lines. Any luck? Yeah, you see, I was standing over there. You see all the personnel and stuff like that. The line was there and everything, so... Uh, still smoke conditions, very light haze. Battalion 9 Command to uh, Battalion 8. Battalion 8. Mike, uh, we're going to take the two lines up, the one in the cellar and the one on the first floor. Uh, we washed everything down pretty good. It didn't appear that there was any extension past the first floor. Uh, are you guys okay up there, or do you need me to send something up there? Nah, we're good here, yeah, yeah, I'm in line of seven, yeah, we're, we're in good shape, no extension here. Alright, step four. So whatever small pockets of fire they found, they got them out, and there's no further extension. Whatever light haze you see is residual. It looks like the uh, fans are inside the building now instead of outside. Uh... I see the um, the line to the fan right there. So yeah, I mean, you know, we came and we saw. They did a fantastic job, even though it took a little bit of time. Look at the old buildings. The members are up there on the second floor and on the uh, floors above. Very old building. Uh, and had it gotten away, it probably would have extended to these old buildings right here. And that one over there, but nobody really knows. Um, so, when they get aggressive with these fires like that, they have to um, move very fast because uh, they travel through the walls, the floorboards, the ceilings. I mean, I've told you guys this before. Alright, 
Make them, it's under control right now. Alright, let me see if I can get her doing the report over there. She went around the other side. There's too much activity, like I said before, too much noise. Let's see what she says. I don't know where she went. All right, my brother, I'm trying to see you. Yeah, 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 good, good, good. Alright, she wasn't given the report, but... Alright, she wasn't given the report, but... Mopping up operations and the units are starting to leave. Uh, I was sold that engine 26. Uh, did a great job. Uh, and they uh, kept that fire in the basement. They attacked it aggressively and kept it from spreading any further. So that's a good thing. Who's sawing over there? Oh, they got this locked up over here. Yeah, it's Con Ed. They're drilling, not sawing. Thank you. 
front of the building. Uh, on, Ed is still trying to get that valve, that little box open. Uh, some of the members are on standby right now. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm very, very uh, hot and hungry. Looks like our closing, store closing, everything must go. They still have residual smoke in there too.
again. Alright, heavy rain coming. And you know how I always make a commentary? I don't know what happened here, but a lot of these old buildings go on fire. Nobody knows why, and then a large, huge condo tower goes up. But anyway, from uh, West 38th Street and 6th Avenue, in the Garment District of Manhattan, in heavy pouring rain, two and two, we're gonna see you all on the other side. 